Okay, so I'm trying gray lipstick. What do you guys think? Can I pull this off? Gray lipstick and pink eyeshadow. I don't know. It looks good to me, so. Hey, Slobe Nation. Do you guys miss me? I'm sure you do. As promised, I was going to create a really quick and cute little holiday dress for you guys. Probably won't have time to make it by Christmas, but it's still an awesome tutorial. And I thought I should just throw it up there for you guys so that you guys can check it out. So the one thing that is a little bit unique about this video is that I actually asked you guys on Facebook to pick between the fabrics that I was considering at Walmart along with some trims. And so you guys ended up picking this velvet fabric and this gold trim. It it challenged me to create a dress out of it. Now, if you guys know, velvet is definitely trying, really trying to stick. And I've actually have seen it a lot more in stores. And you know, I think velvet, when done correctly, can be worn very, very beautifully. Incorrectly, you can end up looking like a hot mess. So DIY at your own risk. There's two ways that I'm debating on how to wear this, like this, or I can actually pinch the shoulders together and make it kind of like a little princess thing. Let's go ahead and grab all of our supplies and let's get started because this DIY is a little bit of a doozy and snip, snip, snip away. To start out, you are going to need a pattern and I have posted a link to a document down below on how you can create the pattern for the top. So for the front piece, you are going to cut out two of these and they are going to be mirror images of each other. And once you place them together, this is what it should look like. Now along the raw edge of the neckline, go ahead and fold in a quarter of an inch and sew along the curve with a zigzag stitch and repeat this on the other piece as well. Now on to the back, you are going to cut out the back pattern and it's going to look like this. Okay, along the neckline, you're going to go ahead and fold in about a quarter of an inch and zigzag stitch from top to bottom. On a piece of leather or just cotton twill, go ahead and cut out two strips that are half an inch wide. Okay, so down your center back, you're gonna lay down a piece of hem tape and then you're gonna stick the leather to the hem tape. Right next to leather, go ahead and lay down another piece of hem tape and then fold the leather right onto it. And then you're just gonna sew straight across to secure everything and you will repeat this on the other piece, which is also a center back as well. Now along that sewn edge, you're going to make a mark at every single inch and remember to do this on the other side as well. Now use an X-Acto knife and make a hole on each one of those dots that you marked earlier. Place one of these grommets into the slit that you just made. Now I'm going to use this kind of grommet setter. You can also use the one that comes with the grommet kit, which looks like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set my grommet and this is what it's going to look like. So here comes the fun part. You are now going to repeat all of that on all of the markings and also on the other side as well. Okay, so now that you have the back piece done, now you're gonna sew the back to the front. So take one side of the front piece and lay it down, and then lay the other side of the front piece down, and this is what it's gonna look like, and sew up the side seams. Okay, now you're gonna line up the shoulder seam and sew up the shoulders. So having it opened up completely, you're going to be able to see the back side and the front. And I am going to take this gold trim that you guys picked out for me and I'm going to just lay it right at the bottom and I'm going to sew really close to the edge with it. Now with the gold trim in place, you can go ahead and lace up the back of your top. You are totally done with that and technically it could just be a crop top if you like. But if not, we can move forward with the bottom part of the dress. Okay, now you are going to cut out a circle skirt. I've done many tutorials on this before, so links will be down below for you guys. So you're going to fold it in half and then sew up the center back and leaving just enough for the zipper. Okay, I am not going to show you this part, but go ahead and insert the zipper and I'll have links down below on how to do that. So along the waistline of the skirt, I'm going to go ahead and sew a piece of leather to it and the leather is about three and a quarter inch wide and that's it technically this could just be your skirt with the leather waistband and how cute is that but if you want to attach the skirt to the top we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step just like we did with the top go ahead and make a marking every inch next with an exacto knife or even the leather puncher like I have right here I'm gonna go ahead and punch a hole into every single one of those markings and just like the top, I'm gonna add a grommet into each one of those holes. And ta-da, this is what it's gonna look like. Again, you can wear this alone. 
just as a skirt if you want to, or you can connect it to the top. And to do that, I am going to need some gold chains for this. And I am just going to connect the top to the bottom by using kind of like a zigzag like stitching, just looping it in and out of each hole, making sure that they all line up nicely. And once you get back to the center back again, go ahead and just close up the chain using a jump ring or whatever method you think is best. And you're probably gonna need some help putting the dress on because you have to lace the back up, but other than that, it's still a really cute dress, right? What do you guys think of the DIY? Would you guys try to attempt this? And if you do, please send me a photo to my hashtag S-L-O-A-B-N to any one of my socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Y'all know I love to check that stuff out. I am usually most likely on Facebook though because it is kind of like my hub. If you're gonna really try this out, I mean, definitely take your time with it. Don't get frustrated. Velvet is not an easy thing to sew sometimes. And then you mix velvet and ribbon and leather. Like it's just a lot, a lot of different textures. And your sewing machine is gonna have a little bit of trouble trying to figure it out. I do want to recommend that you should not toss this in the washer and dryer. This is one of those things where it's very delicate right here, so it might actually pull apart. Um, I think it's best if you do want to wash this is to wash it separately. Um, don't wash it together with the chain still attached because the chains might probably get tangled or ripped. I think that's kind of a no-brainer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please, please. Um, if you like it, like it down below, share with everyone that you know, and of course, hit that subscribe button because Every subscriber equates to one fairy dust. I eat the fairy dust and that's what motivates me to create more video for you guys. Y'all know how to end my videos. Remember to always rock on smoothies. Bye. Today, I am gonna show you guys how to make this skirt. It lights up. And it's funny because I actually saw this skirt in the kids section over at Target and I was just like, why can't adults wear this? And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna recreate the same exact skirt, throw a couple snowflakes in there and even some LED lights because I really want to look like I am lit for the holidays in a non-alcoholic 